Hey there and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video we're going to be talking about Polygon. Matic. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to the channel. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go down below and tap that subscribe button while you're down there. If you can hit the like button too, I'd really appreciate it. Alright, let's get into it. Matic. So, last time we talked uh, about Matic, I was saying that Matic is looking like on the weekly time frame, which is where we're at right now, Matic was looking like it's in a bull flag, and it's got a lot of bullish momentum behind it. Uh, Matic has been making a lot of moves uh, in this bear market, a lot more than other coins out there. So, uh, that's why you see that Matic went all the way down to $0.31, cents, just under $0.32, cents, and has already recovered uh, quite a bit of that move. So, we fell from top to bottom 90%, which was a big drop, but then we came and we jumped up 221% after that. So Matic has been very, very bullish as of late. Uh, on the weekly time frame, I'd still like to see Matic, you know, get a nice, I mean, as you can see, when Matic's moving to the upside, the RSI is staying, let me see if I can make this a little bit uh, more visible for everybody. Maybe that helps a little bit. So here's the 50 line right here, the dotted line. So when Matic is moving to the upside and in bullish momentum, uh, the RSI is staying and maintaining above that 50 line. And I mean, if you would have bought the dips when Matic came down to the 50 line on the weekly, uh, that would have been some pretty good buys until this one. So once it broke through the 50, came back to retest it, then retest it again, that's when Matic completely fell. But now we're trying to break through, break through, and actually, let's zoom in here. I mean, good news, we finally broke through. So now what I'm expecting is we have a breakthrough on the 50 to come back down and retest, and then we can start making our big moves to the upside. Matic is one to pay attention to. We are under a dollar right now. That is <laughs> not financial advice, uh, not telling you what to do, but that is a, I mean, obviously buying it, you know, under 80 cents would have been even better, which you could have got just recently. But under a dollar, Matic is a spectacular buy, in my opinion. Uh, the other thing that I see on the weekly time frame is you're seeing these momentum waves on the momentum trend directional indicator. Uh, you're seeing this. You got the big wave right here, which is the big drop. Now, we've been moving basically sideways, creating this bull flag. We got another green dot here on the momentum wave. And it looks to me like we're crossing over the 50 on the momentum wave. And once we break above this 100 EMA right here, I do believe that's when we're going to break above this 50 and we will start seeing some big moves. Now, whether or not we break above the 100, come back down and retest it and then continue moving, who's to say? Maybe Matic gets super bullish and it keeps and it just shoots right up. That isn't good if it does, just so you know. If it does shoot right up like that, that's telling me that it's going to fall right back down just as fast. We do have resistance points on the weekly, roughly around a buck 11. And we got some more right around $1.36, and uh, I mean, we can just keep placing these up here, you know, buck 71 and so forth. The uh, all-time high was, what was that, 270-ish, 290, almost $3. Um, one other thing on the weekly that I've been seeing is, let's see what we got for the Fibonacci's here. So Matic is so bullish that on the weekly, it came better down. Uh, didn't even reach the 382 and then continue is continuing on to the upside. We are breaking above this uh, bull flag here, which has a target for the bull flag to bring us so exactly where my green line that I just randomly drew there, uh, right around uh, almost $2 is the bull flag target. So pay attention to that. Uh, I do think that we are heading in that direction and the bottom for Matic all the way down here is in. And I don't even think we're going to be coming back down to 70 cents anytime soon. Uh, we'll see. So let's move in to the daily. And on the daily, we are running into the 200 EMA. Now we've already hit the 200 EMA right here on the daily. We came down, we tried to get up to it again, we failed. And now we finally broke above it. Now what I am seeing is the momentum is starting to shift. Uh, so I do expect a little bit of a pullback here, which is what we're getting right now. We're down 0.25%, nothing too big. But either we get a pullback, which 
I don't know. Maybe we don't get a pullback, uh, because uh, a real pullback, because that brings us back below the 200 EMA, and that wouldn't be too great. We already broke above the pull flag here, retested it as support, and now we're breaking up again. What I could see us doing right now is us just going sideways for a few, and then continuing up to the upside. And first target is that dollar eleven uh, area right there. So I'm not sure if you guys have watched my previous video. Let me just get rid of some of these lines here. I'm not sure if you guys saw my previous video uh, on trading and trading with uh, Fibonacci's, but uh, I mean, right now, oopsies. Uh, right now, if you would have grabbed a Fibonacci and pulled it from down here to up here to this top right here, you would have seen that we did tap the 786, but there was a massive wick right there, continued on to the upside, okay? Then we grab another Fibonacci here from this wick right here, bring it up to there, and we tapped the 618 perfectly. A great time to get in would have been this very next candle right here, which obviously would have brought us up there. So the next thing we want to be looking for, this is on the daily time frame, just so you know, is uh, we're going to, let's assume this is the top. And I mean, like I said, I could see Matic going sideways here and holding this 236 for a while. If it doesn't just stay sideways, get a wick down to the 382, wick right back above this 200 EMA, and then dance around here. Possibly get a few wicks down to the 382 down there. So, I mean, if you're looking to enter any kind of a trade, not financial advice, not trading advice, because I do not give trading advice either, uh, you know, possibly getting some buy orders around the 382 or the 618 would be Ideal, although if you do get one at the 618, that kind of breaks below this resistance right here uh, or this new support, which eh, I don't know. We'll see. This is the daily. Uh, go down to the four hour and the four hour again. If you were trading on the lower time frames, you could have taken the Fibonacci from from here. What is going on here? There we go. From here to here and see how we're holding this 382. And then if we took the Fibonacci now from here to this top, uh, we are holding the 382 again. And uh, we held the 382 all the way till we hit the 20 EMA. And that is possibly gonna happen again, or we just go sideways, like I said. But I mean, if that did happen, then we're looking at possibly October 27th, which is tomorrow. Uh, right now it is 10 16 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on October 26th. And so maybe tomorrow uh, around afternoon, we might get another move to the upside if it's going to do the same thing it did here and just go sideways until it gets to that 20 EMA. But uh, nevertheless, Matic is looking extremely bullish. Um, let's see if I see any kind of divergences happening. Possibly. Yeah, nope, not a bearish divergence there. No, no. I mean, we did break below the moving average here. So I'll show you that. So before we we tested it, we fell through, but then broke right back above, tested it again. And now we did actually fall completely through. And uh, I would expect us to possibly even test it. And then, I mean, come back down and retest this uh, center line here, the 50 on the RSI. Um, and also the momentum is not in our favor. So uh, one thing you might want to look at when you're doing these kind of trades here is wait until, so if you're on the four hour trading the four hour and you're waiting for where is it going to land possibly at the 618, go down to the one hour here. And actually the one hour has got a green dot on it. Um, and we're holding the 100 EMA just like we held right here. I mean, it's pretty bullish right now actually, but uh, who knows? I still think we're going to go sideways, but anyway, <laughs> Long story short, Matic is really bullish. Uh, I would be looking into it, trying to get in. Look at the date. If you want to get into this, look on the daily. Uh, find a buying opportunity using your Fibonacci's, possibly with this low right here and this high. Getting in. I mean, I say we're not going to break below this 200. I could be wrong. If it comes all the way back down to the 618 or the 382, I'd be looking at buys right there to get in. Uh, Matic is... Uh, really bullish. Although we do, uh, well, I guess on the bear side, I do see kind of a um, rising wedge there. Uh, and so, I mean, I guess we can just wait and see what it does. If it, well, and then the target for me for this rising wedge would be the 618 here around 84, 85 cents. We'll see if that happens. 
But that's kind of what I got for Matic. Uh, just a quick update. I do think in the long term, uh, whether, you know, whatever happens in the short term here, whatever, but the long term Matic is going up quite high, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, that's what I got. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, just remember, not a financial advisor, just a dude on his computer. Talk to you later.